On October 20th, the Catholic Church celebrates the feast of Saint Batilla Boscardin. Anna Francesca Boscardin, who was called Anetta, was born on October 6th, 1888 in Italy. She lived a very difficult childhood in a poor peasant family with a violently abusive alcoholic father. She had very little education and worked as a house servant as a girl and was considered not to be very intelligent. Her family nicknamed her the goose due to her lack of intelligence. However, things changed somewhat when she entered the Sisters of St. Dorothy, Daughters of the Sacred Heart, in 1904. Taking the name Bertilla, after working in the convent's kitchen and laundry for three years, she trained as a nurse. She worked in the children's ward of the Sisters' Hospital in Treviso and quickly became the children's favorite due to her simple and gentle way. She cared for wounded Italian soldiers during World War I, even staying with patients while the area was being bombed. An envious supervisor reassigned Bertilla, now popular among the patients, to the hospital laundry. When her mother general heard of this, she made Bertilla head of the children's ward in 1919. Bertilla died three years later of cancer. She was fondly remembered as something of a Florence Nightingale on the first anniversary of her death. A commemorative inscription placed in the hospital read, to Sister Maria Bertilla Boscardin, a chosen soul of heroic goodness, who for several years was a truly angelic alleviation of human suffering in this place. Saint Bertilla was a follower of the little way of Saint Therese of Lisieux. Ailing in health, of slight intellectual capacity, lacking in initiative, but with a balanced and practical judgment and firm will, she was sanctified in the most unassuming carrying out of daily duties, whatever they might be. Miracles of healing attributed to her heavenly intercession led to her beatification on 8th June 1952 in the presence of members of her family and patients whom she had nursed. Less than a decade later, that is on 11th May 1961, she was canonized by Pope John XXIII.